I will wear the white and gold dress next time, and, and Laurel will be there. Uh, let's just go on to the, the, the PFL. Uh, and I know Stump doesn't know too much. First off, if there's any of my Ohio fans listening, it's been great interacting with you over the past week. I'm trying to learn everything I can about you. You guys have like 40 teams in this league. It's hard to keep up with, and they all have the same name. Not the same mascot, but there's the llama, the llama, the llama. Then they go directional. They go northeast, southeast, and they got cool names. The N.E.O. Silverbacks. Sounds like a Killer Instinct character, doesn't yeah, it not? Uh, yeah, like absolutely. That, I root for them. I don't care what they do in the regular season. I root for them. The Highland Park Polar Bears? There you go. Well, in Ohio? <laughs> the I root for that. Well, I thought the Canes was funny in, in, in Kentucky here. But yeah, the Polar Bears? Bears in Ohio. But I think the Canes, I think that comes from, just like when I hear Saints, you're probably a Saints fan. You're probably a Canes fan. When I hear polar bears, where? But I love it. There was a game last week, uh, NEO Silverbacks versus the NEO uh, Predators. I don't care who won. That's just the best sounding game ever. I would love to announce that game just to say over and over, those teams' names. That's all I would say. Just like my man here in Laurel, I would just say any old Silverbacks, any old Predators. Um, yeah, it sounds like you're saying any old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. It's too late. Um, I, like I said, I don't have a lot of information on these teams. Uh, kind of going tier one, and and I, I know you may know a little bit about this. Tier one is just absurd. When I look at and I lost where it was at. When I look at the PAFL, let me go through the teams in the in this tier one. We have a correction. Polar bears are from the northern Michigan. Oh, the Michigan polar bears. Thank you, whoever did that. Are there polar bears? Did you see a polar bear? <laughs> if you saw a polar bear, I want a picture, please. Please. Um, and the zoo does not count. The zoo does not count. Down at the bottom. You can't even get close. Um, in the WPA Wildcats... One of the Laurel. best teams in the country. Laurel. The NEO Predators. Just love the name. The Predators. Absolutely. The Pittsburgh Rangers, from my calculations, is probably the worst team in Tier 1, and they're still hanging in there. They could probably beat anyone else in any other league. The Lorraine County Nightmare. Ooh, the Nightmare. Great name. Yeah. They look great. Their uniforms are top-notch. They they promote like any uh, like no other. They've lost, so I, I can't say it. The, the Ohio Raiders, and they truly look like a good Raider organization. The Columbus Fire, maybe one of the best teams in the country, minus the Middle Tennessee Bulldogs. Uh, the Southern Michigan Timberwolves, if you don't know who that is, that's the team that beat the Toledo Thunder and the Indiana Braves okay, okay. in the MTA, in the MAL, MLFA. And uh, the Indianapolis Tornadoes. Tornadoes, yeah. Strong like, team in this area. And, and, and they got blasted by the Columbus Fire 39 to nothing. Oh, wow. So and and I and I'm all on tornado land, like I'm all on that bus. I think that they are. I hear they're, they're a good team. I just think Columbus Fire is that much better. To go to t, uh, uh, tier two, man, there's a lot of teams. There's 22 teams in this. Wow. And and I can't keep up with all of them, but let's go over some of them that I really like. I I, I like the Silverbacks names. I, I don't know what they're gonna do. They played um, a team that was in Tier 1. Um, a big matchup. Cincinnati Chiefs versus the Dayton Hornets, which they look good and they play great. Um, Butler County Broncos, they won the uh, PAF or the uh, BCFL last year. Okay. So they're a solid team. They look great out there too. And probably one of the – another great name with some of the, the best – probably the best helmet I've seen in semi-pro is called the Canton Pit Bulls. The Pit Bulls. I'll have to show you a picture of it later. If I could pull it up. Laurel. Like, it's just chrome red. Oh, like, that's pretty. Like, you don't do that. Like, in semi-pro, everybody says, oh, I'm going to go black helmet because nobody has to paint. And then T3, um, I'm still learning. I feel like I feel like the names come from flag teams. I get caught up on the MV Rough Riders. Rough Riders. R-U-F-F. R Y D E R Z. The question is, are they DMX sponsored? Is X going to come for you? But they got to win. I mean, they, they look great. They look like um, Middle Tennessee State, Kentucky type uh, uniforms. They put pride in it. I don't want to dog them for that. I think they might actually win that league. 
I, guys, I'm telling you, the PAFL teams, reach out to me. Let me know everything that you know. Because I want to get behind this league. Yeah, absolutely. And, and again, if there's if people are streaming these games, oh, yes, get that please. out there. We'd love to watch them. Yes. Um, there's just so many great teams. Um, uh, I think the, the commissioner's name is Jeremy Campbell. I'd love to have him on sometime. I, I think he could uh, give us some insight. It's it's going to be it's going to be a lot of conversation because there's so many teams. But I'm, I'm excited to know about them. I, anything you want to add on? I know I got kind of out about your element there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, I'm not real familiar with a, a lot of those teams. What's impressive to me that there's a three tier league. Right, and every one of them, and, and the commissioner makes them play each other. Yeah. So like it doesn't count get your playoffs. But, like, if you're in Tier 2, you got to play a Tier 1 team. And you get to play a Tier 3 team. Yeah. It has no negative impact on the right, playoff right, race. Right, 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 But it, it lets you get your name out there. So, uh, Oliver, uh, he is from the PFL. PFL. What's his last name? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Ask him he's with. He's from Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. Oliver, can you hear me? Oliver, can you hear me? We're having trouble hearing Hello? you on this end. Oliver, can you hear us? No! All right, Oliver, give us a call back if you can. I think that's Oliver Gant. Yeah, OG. Play, I think because he, he plays for the Michigan Hurricanes. Dude, yeah. the beast! Monster. Oh, I like confidence. Yeah, uh, it's, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about them. <laughs> but I know OG. Right. They're my it, favorite. They're my favorite at that level now. All right. Well, we're gonna move on. I, I would love for him to get in touch because he, he played with us. He he's he's from. He played here. Was he from here or did he move down here? And do I, I'm bit? not sure where he's from, but I you know he played a year with me on the Bucks. I, th I think he played the year prior to that as well with the Bucks before I joined and. All right, GDFL, usually we have Al Raz come on here and he talks. I'm confused. Help me out with the GDFL. 30 teams and six of them play a week. What? How does this work? Do you play as many games as you want? If you're the Middle Tennessee Bulldogs, do you play 12 games? If you're from uh, some other place, you play four? I, I wish I could help and, explain that one. Oliver's back on. Oliver, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can. What is going on? Nothing much. How y'all been? Uh, we're good. Living the dream, clearly. Uh, loving it. I'm fading again. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. A little bit. Little bit yeah, yeah, we can hear you. So, so who are you playing with now? The Hurricanes? Come on, Oliver. Please say you've got that Verizon. Ah, uh, Oliver, giving us a call on his uh, T-Mobile or Sprint or Bluegrass Seller. I don't know. Cricket. <laughs> cricket, yeah, cricket. I, I don't I don't know what's going on. Uh, um, so we're going to go back to the, the GDFL. Hopefully Oliver can get through. We, we really want to talk to him. I know, I know you had him as a teammate more than I did. Yeah, that what's going year. on? Oh, who's back? Um, so we're gonna go back to the GDFL. Hopefully, Oliver can get through. We we really want to talk to him. I know. I, I know you had him as a team. We're partying here now, guys. We're getting we're hitting we're hitting that ten thirty hour. We're getting wild. The party is here. So I don't know what's going on with the GDFL. Yeah. So Oliver. It, it's got to be cricket. You got that iPhone 4? Galaxy 2. X. <laughs> All right. Uh, man, we want to speak with you. Like I said, we got the utmost respect for you, Oliver. Uh, we're just having some breakdown right now. Um, 
but we definitely if we if we can't get you on this week we definitely want to get you on next week remember to go and vote for laurel it's not yanni it's still there the pose going don't play it I feel like there's like 106.9 where they play your hits of they Laurel. Even heard it. Laurel. Oh! Laurel. Who hasn't heard Laurel. Then he's played this. Oh. <laughs> it's just on a loop. All right. So if anybody knows about the GDFL, let us know. We got Oliver back one we more time. We got Oliver back one more time. This, this is the last time. Don't break our hearts, Oliver. You've already got me up past bedtime, man. So. P.S. This is Austin. <laughs> What's going on, Oliver? <laughs> now, this is Mike. Mike? Mike who? Yeah, yeah, man. Get your caller ID up, man. Yeah, yeah. What y'all got some at Ben Barger Mart over there? What are you doing down there? What are you doing there, Boom Power? What you doing, man? I see you on there, man. I like the show. What up, Stump? What's up, boss? We're going to have to cut you yeah. off the line. You've been drinking too early. He got, he's been <laughs> no, breaking man. out that Henny. No, I'm going to drink. I smoke. Okay, okay. <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> I'm not just here to man, do some support about the Titans since y'all ain't giving us uh, no love. We're give, you're yeah. a new team. We're giving you number three. Go out there. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Go out there and win Saturday, and then we'll talk. That's what I'm saying, man. But shit, you know the defense is gonna be good. I mean, just well, cause I, it's the, I know only thing new is the team. Yeah, absolutely. Only thing new is the is the is the name. That's the only thing new is the name. Well, it was the Rangers, and you know the Rangers were straight last year. Yeah, the Rangers were tough. Again, uh, the only reason I have you guys at a three spot uh, is because last year I think the Canes did did win. I think two time two games against the Rangers. Uh, and it's just for the same reason that I can't give the Canes the edge over the Spartans because I've never seen them pull it off. Right. So let me ask you a question: Where's Eric at? Is where's Eric Washington? Who are he playing for? He's playing with. Why well, you think I'm over? We. That's what I'm saying, man. Y'all gonna see the defense is gonna be nasty. You got me and Eric back there at the safeties. Then you know what I mean. Our little defense. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like every offense, semi pro offense is shaky. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely, I mean, like, I see, absolutely. I see. I seen the quarterback. Our little quarterback straight. He young and shit. He's already got like a little year under his belt. And you know what I mean. He's nice. But once again, like how you say, you gotta, you know, you gotta get out there on that field and show it. And yeah, I yeah, yeah. That, you know, and I'm, that's I'm all new. it is for me. There's no hate coming from me. I'm not even trying to sleep on you guys. I know it's all the way back to the enforcer days. It's been a, a, a tough organization. Uh, I just until they they beat the Canes and or the Spartans, it, it, it show me. Yeah, I feel you on that, Stump. I really do. I Mike. mean, I, I I just be bullshitting, but you know what I mean? I do. I do be bullshitting, but I, I do. That's one, Mike. It. That's one. I, I had to put a five in the square jar. We're, we're going to get a 15-yard on you. <laughs> oh, man, I'm about to get the boot off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> we try to prepare you. You know the refs don't deal with that. <laughs> I don't know, right? No, hey. man, I'm sorry about that, though, for uh, real. But I, I just like the show, man. I, I be messing around with y'all. No, you there, good. For real, for I, real. I, and, uh, I can't wait for the season to start. No, absolutely. I'm right there. Hey, but I will tell you, I've been peeping. I like that quarterback. If he lives up to what I'm hearing, it changes my opinion on you guys. Because I, I, like you said, I know what that defense is bringing. But you also know what it's like to have to be on the field majority of the game. Right. If little buddy yeah, can come. put up some points, it's changing my tone. Absolutely. Right. And then I got a, I got a couple of questions, just random questions about difficult teams or whatever. Okay. My first one is my first one is about the piranhas. Like, you know, I know you don't heard about them coming back. What do you think is going to actually happen if they do come back? Do you think that they will come back stronger? Because I mean, you you was part of the team and stump. I know you was on the sidelines a lot and you seen it. Do you think we can still overcome that hump of? not gelling as a team being off this summer. You know what I mean? Well, in my opinion on that, I think it all depends on what league they're in, one. Uh, and two, if they do come back, are those same players going to come back? I, I'm assuming yeah. they are because most of the, the big names that that team had seemed to appreciate what the team was offering. Mm -hmm. So I, I think they could be strong. What I right. think, would you? 
My fault. Go ahead. No, you good. Uh, what I was just going to add, I'm with Stump. If you go to a winnable league, even if it's not challenging, it builds a foundation. Right. If you try to jump into that deep end and you all start 01, 02, that bickering starts, yeah. it's not good because everybody's going to remember they've done folded once. It's like I said last week. It's like a breakup. Once you break up with a girl, that trust is gone in a little bit. Uh, right. Other than that, who do you bring in? I love the OGs, the, the the veterans that played for all these extreme teams, but father time is undefeated. Uh, absolutely. you got to find a way mm-hmm. to get in the young guys. If you can find a mix, because what you had last year, you had veterans who might have lost a step but know how to win versus young guys who don't know how to win. Because if, if, right. if guys didn't come from the uh, the uh, Canes and the Bucks, they came from the Cavs where they won one game. So they're okay with winning. Well, and, and they may have all the talent in the world, but they're still not accustomed to winning yet. I, you were with us on the Bucks when we went through some of those same struggles. We brought in a lot of talent. A lot of that talent wasn't accustomed to winning. So, it, it, you know, we struggled. It, you've been there. But if guys mm-hmm. come in, if guys come in and buy in and give it one last chance, and learn their role. There's nothing wrong with knocking someone's head off on special teams. Yes, I they can come back and compete because there's just not enough teams in Louisville. Right. Well, and again, back to what the the point you made about the league. Why not join a league? And again, why not be the Kevin Durant? Basically, join a league. You know, join a league. You know you can win, right? Like mm-hmm. the Bulldogs kind of did with our league. Uh, why not? Join that league, get the title, get the championship, and then it makes it so much easier to bring in more talent. Uh, you know, when, as soon as you attach a ring to your name, it's an attractive team. See, that, that's what brings up my next question. It's like, as long as the Hurricanes produce and do what they've been doing on that, uh, getting the rings and having a successful season. Do you feel like it would be harder for another new Louisville team well, to come and be successful in the first couple of years? Well, and, and here's why I say no. The the Canes, as far as I know, that they haven't actually produced a, wing, a ring, right? Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, when they were Derby City, it's pretty much the same team. You know, uh, when they were Derby City, they won a couple. The Canes haven't done it yet. Those veterans already showed they're willing to go elsewhere. With the piranhas. Yeah. A, a lot of them mm-hmm. did. Now, if those veterans go get a ring, some of the young studs are going to follow suit. It, it, at least in the next season. And, and I feel like, and again, it's not to throw shade at the Canes, when you're playing on the nice turf field, it's more attractive than playing at Fly J. Yeah, for sure. And that's what I think. Brian does the bet at he his his on field production didn't look the best, but everything else was was top notch. Absolutely, the way he promoted, the way he brought out the uniforms that that's why everybody came. Absolutely, if he can get them to win, well, in the film, you yeah, know, everyone wants film. Everyone's going to stay. The only problem I have, and and Mike, you know, maybe you can attest to this. You've seen it. Guys would rather rather win a ring and not yeah. have to work for it than try to push themselves and be better. Would you agree with that? Yeah, for sure. I I, I so agree with it, and I I, I mean that that's what I because I feel like if there's a lot of players that are you know what I mean undecided, and I feel like little stuff that. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of hard to say because it's just like I, I like the Canes. I mean, I know Stump knows a lot of them, and yeah. I know you do too. Uh, and, I, and, and Stump played with them, and I know he knows, like, the good and bad. But I feel like if Brown would have came to the to the Canes, maybe that would have put them over the hump of with a new field, uh, you know, some, some – some new little stuff that would have brought the same little players that the Piranhas had that the Hurricanes didn't over there to them. You know what I mean? Right. The only problem that would have been there, and I'm, I don't want to keep bringing up the past against them, but a couple of years ago the Canes had some problems that has has kind of soiled their name. 
And even if they've reinvented themselves, even if they're a better team now, they're better ran, they're 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 less volatile. There, there's organizations that aren't the turf deal field. With them. The turf field will not let the Canes play on it. Now, if you yeah. take those same exact guys and you change their name to the Knights or the Titans, or all's the good. Or the Piranhas, all's good now. But with the with that team name. They've definitely burned bridges. They, they've burned some bridges. So I think that's why Brian would have struggled a little bit. But, but I, yeah, there would be some advantages if he went to a team that was already established. Like, uh, let me ask you a question, Mike. If you think, with what we had last year, if Brian would have came in with Nick and stayed with the Bucks, but he got behind with his programming, his uniform designs, his pictures, what do you think the Bucks would have been this year? If the Bucks would have been a spring team, we wouldn't have got some of the vets because the vets don't like the name the Bucks. Well, and again, the vets have that same vendetta right. against the but, Bucks that the field has against their. Canes. But we could have got young guys from other places because we're established. How, do you think that would have made any difference? Or do you think it was all been the same? No, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like it would. I think it would have been different for sure. I feel like the Bucks. Like I, I was, uh, I was watching when you and Sam was talking earlier. Like the Bucks. We wasn't too far behind them being on schedule, being good. It was just like little, it, it little was meshing, stuff. Man. You know what I mean? And it was just like, I, I mean, it, it was kind of hard, but it was like, even though we had problems, everybody still wanted to play. It wasn't yeah. like people was quitting at the end. You know what I mean? Like it mid game or whatever. It was just like so much drama where people was fighting or whatever. But I mean I, I do agree with I, I mean I kinda agree with Chris. I feel like it would have been it would have been different for sure. It, it would have for sure been different. And and I do think that's that that I think that was the only problem and that's why I think Nick didn't want to continue that is because what you had is every Monday twenty people would quit but come next Saturday those went 